Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have another Charlotte Tilbury product to be reviewing for you guys. I'm going to be talking about the brand new Starry Eyes to Hypnotize eyeshadow palette. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on her new holiday release, then just keep watching. This palette actually is not currently available. On September 12th, she had it available for only 24 hours. I'm not sure why she did that. Um, it's just like kind of a marketing thing, I suppose, but kind of annoying. Like, just release it, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure of the exact launch date for when this is going to be actually open and available for sale for more than 24 hours. I've heard sometime in October. If anybody has a concrete answer, comment down below. I'll pin it, but yeah, this was only available for 24 hours. I jumped on it, but if you go on the Charlotte Tilbury website, you can sign up for for like an email list and they'll email you when it's here, which I highly recommend if you are interested in this palette. So let's go over what this is. So this is the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize Eyeshadow Palette. It is a limited edition. It is $75 and it says four instantly mesmerizing eye glow looks and 12 hypnotic new shades made with real diamond powder so you can glow from day to night. Just like last year's sellout palette, which by the way, this this didn't sell out quite as fast as the one from the previous year. This was available for quite some time. The easy to build shades play with the light beautifully, whether you want to create a natural look, sophisticated smoky eye, a molten golden goddess gaze. So it's the same concept where you get four different looks in the palette. There's 12 shades. Here's what she looks like. She's beautiful. So let's talk about the packaging of this. It's the exact same style as the palette from last year, except this one I think is really pretty. I love that it's a royal blue with Charlotte Tilbury kind of glittery stunning I think it's prettier than last year's and then you open it up and then you're going to reveal the four looks so you have happy glow which is more of a sultry golden eye with a swirl of a matte caramel brown you have love glow which is more rosy pinks and then you have dream glow which is kind of like a khaki dusty green color which I'm very excited about you guys know I love my greens and then you have seduce glow which you can get a crazy crazy smoky eye with. So those are kind of the looks that we're looking at. So let's talk about the value here. So it is $75, pretty expensive. If you do like Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes, I always recommend you purchase the big holiday ones because her regular little four eyeshadow quads are $55 for like tiny amounts of product. It is in your best interest to purchase these big guys whenever she releases them. However, let me just tell you, did you know Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are like the worst value on the market. They are so expensive. So just so you know, I did some research and it seems like Charlotte Tilbury tried to get one over on us because the one from last year actually has more product in it. So it's the exact same price, $75, but the price per gram in the 2018 Stars in Your Eyes is $8.33. The price per gram in this year's palette is actually $10. So you are getting 1.5 less grams in this compared to the one from last year. So $10 is a lot. So just for comparison, so you can see how expensive these eyeshadows are. Tom Ford Quads, which in our eyes is like like the most expensive eyeshadows on the market, $88 for a quad. Did you know that the price per gram is only $8.80? That's still a lot compared to the market as a whole, but $8.80, this is $10 per gram. Pat McGrath, their 10 pan eyeshadow palette, $6.25 per gram. The Natasha Denona 28 pan palette, $3.41. Did you know Natasha Denona was that cheap? And I'm just rolling down. Like, Natasha Denona eyeshadows are in, like, the $3 range. Pat McGrath, the $6. Tom Ford, the $8. Charlotte Tilbury is in the $10 range. And just so you know, the worst value ever are her quads, which are $10.58. Just thought I'd throw that out there. That Charlotte Tilbury, to start off with, has really expensive eyeshadows for price per gram. And this has gotten even worse. I will say, though, her Icon palette that came out earlier, earlier this year, the price per gram was 
$2.71. So this one was like randomly a really good value. But anyways, just thought I would throw that one out there for you guys in case you never thought about that. Let's take a look at the colors here. So I've used every single one of these eyeshadows on my eyelid and I definitely have to say compared to last year's, I like to follow the four looks. I feel like these shades just really go together to create a very cohesive look. Whereas last year I felt like I could intermingle all of the pre-curated looks and mix and match. This one not so much. I feel like it's literally like four different looks. So for a lot of people that's like really good because Charlotte Tilbury is like about easy effortless makeup And this effortlessly allows you to go straight to a look and use those three colors So I feel like I am a little bit less creative with this palette But I also like that I don't have to think about it One thing I didn't like here is you are only getting three mattes now that being said Charlotte Tilbury Her line is about that glowy ethereal easy effortless eye So if you don't like old shimmer eye looks Charlotte Tilbury isn't the best brand to go to. I like my mattes and the mattes in here made me a little bit uncomfortable because they're just so like you get a tan, a more berry, and just a straight black. And so when I was trying to create looks, I felt uncomfortable because I wanted more mattes to create more dimension and depth to the eye. But you really just have to go with the flow. You have to just put them on your eyes and have like a really pretty all shimmer look. And that is a look. It's a look I don't normally do, but that's what Charlotte Tilbury is all about. If you've ever gone to her Instagram and you've seen the really shimmery all over eyes, it is stunning and that's what I have on today and I really love it. For me personally, I had to just accept it, go with it, and then I actually really do like it. And I really like the pre-curated looks because, I mean, I really feel like my makeup today looks like one of her Instagram posts. Love that it's basically all shimmer. So that took some getting used to, but I definitely think if you aren't the most creative person with creating looks, you kind of just want to grab pretty ethereal glowy eye and go. This is a fantastic palette. You don't have to think about it. I felt like with the palette last year, like I said, I could be more creative because the colors all kind of matched with each other. This one, I really don't feel like they do. You get four really different eyes, which I there's something to be said about that. My suggestion for application would be to start off, and I mean, she suggests this as well, but start off with the last color in the outer third of the lid, and then this color in the middle, and then this color in the inner corner. Like, for all of these looks, that's what I did yesterday on each in my eye and they looked really pretty. I think Dream Glow, which is the more khaki, and Seduce Glow could work hand in hand to create like a really pretty khaki green smoky eye. But for the most part, I think with this palette, I'm just going to use them as they were meant to be used. I really like this color scheme, but this palette is not original at all, don't get me wrong. If I didn't do what I did, I would not have purchased this palette because to be quite honest, it is very similar to the other palettes I have from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just comparing it to her other big palettes that I have, the Stars in Your Eyes and the Icon palette. Pretty much, if you have those two palettes, this whole beginning half, you already have. So maybe like one color shade is a little bit more peachy or one shade's a little bit more bronze, a little bit deeper. But for the most part, when I swatched this palette, the beginning of the Stars in Your Eyes, these three sections of the Stars in Your Eyes, and then the beginning half of the Icon palette, I'm telling you guys, it all looked like the same tones on my arm. I wouldn't say, yeah, they're complete, complete dupes, but I'm talking like one iota off kind of thing. So when I put all of those three palettes together, it just looked like a lot of the same color, especially if you have stars in your eyes and the Icon palette. Girl, you have this. You have it. You don't need it, which is disappointing for somebody like me who purchases all of her palettes. But at the same time, if you missed out on these because these were limited edition, this is perfect. I totally recommend it. So what is great about Charlotte Tilbury is when it's limited edition, actually it's limited edition. So you cannot get those anymore. So if you missed out on that, I would totally recommend this, but I don't recommend this if you have what she's already come out with. But of course you can be the judge of that. That's just something that I found. It literally just looks the same, that beginning half of the palette. So let's go into the actual quality of this palette. And I mean, the quality of this is so good. It took me a while in the beginning to kind of jump on that train of whether Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows were worth it or not. And I mean, I'm fully on now. I'm here for the ride. Her eyeshadows are so beautifully formulated. They are unique in my personal opinion. Just they have a shine about them that you cannot get 
in any other eyeshadow formulas where it's subtle but it's still shiny the way they blend the creaminess of the formula for somebody like me who has a very deep appreciation for makeup I, I see it I really do and this formula is nothing short of that it is so pigmented it's ridiculous like do you see that it just sorry the sun is out I'm filming in the morning but it's just ridiculous how pigmented these eyeshadows are they feel so creamy they apply to the lid so beautifully the three mattes in here are amazing so I wish there was more mattes because the matte formula in here is really really good this matte just so you wear tends to run a little bit darker than you would expect this matte super pigmented very creamy easy to blend and this black is absolutely amazing so the shimmer formula I mean all across the board fantastic super creamy super pigmented on the eye no fallout really this shade right here is very unique it's one of my favorite shadows in my opinion because it's not one of those super pigmented shadows it's the one where it's about the effect that it gives the eye and you just have the softest micro fine shimmers in there that are going to be stunning with just like a brown in the crease and that all over the lid and this black by the way super pigmented super easy to blend like look at this let me swatch it for you super crazy i mean i have nothing bad to say about this palette quality wise the only thing that bad i have to say is the value is terrible and if you already have her palettes from the past you have pretty much all of the colors in here the palette itself is stunning so i want to talk about how i got today's look with you guys now keep in mind i am doing bridal makeup today so i didn't want to do anything crazy i like to do kind of bridal makeup on myself so if anybody's unsure of what they want i'm always like well do you like this so that's that's why I kept it more natural today but I have used each of these colors on my eyes but today I actually just decided to go with the happy glow trio which is kind of the more golden neutral look so I started off with the matte shade and I applied that to my crease and as you can see it blended super nice and it does have a little bit more depth than I was expecting it's a really creamy shade no patchiness no skipping nothing like that just really great and then I took the middle shade right here which is a little bit more bronzy and I just applied that to the center of my lid and I actually blended it out to the outer corner because I figured I'd go for the Charlotte Tilbury glow today and just have basically like an all shimmer eye and then I took the lightest shade right here and I applied that to the inner third of my eyelid to bring some light back to my eyes and then for the highlight I went in with the lightest shade from the dream glow palette and I applied that to my inner corners super simple easy look and honestly I really feel like this look emulates what is on Charlotte Tilbury's Instagram it is that all-over shimmer that's just so pretty and effortless looking so I love this palette I love the quality it's really fantastic that's how I'm gonna finish out this video it's not a necessity but if you are looking to try out Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows or you missed out on her previous palettes this one is a winner in my opinion. I just think it's so beautiful. It's great for people who love natural colors and for work, but you can totally turn this into an evening palette as well. I just really like it. It's just an easy, thoughtless palette. So that's all I have for today's video. Let me know what you think of this eyeshadow palette down below. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I do hope you take the time to do so. I review a lot of Charlotte Tilbury stuff and I have a lot of fun holiday videos and reviews coming up for you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!